Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. I have a shredder that I got a request on. I can't remember who did it. I can't remember who requested it. I do have it on paper, but I just can't find the notebook right now. But if you remember who did it, please tell me so I can give you the credit for this. This is a shredder. Now, the person that gave me the shredder said, please get this out of my house. This thing is possessed. This thing turns on by itself when it's not plugged in. I looked at the lady and said, yeah, whatever, lady. Okay, you know, so I just took the shredder home. Nothing's happened, but um, within the, the first uh, few minutes now of, of trying to make this video, this is what, what's going on. Every time I go towards it, like let's say I want to touch it, this is, this is what happens. All right, now, bear with me here. This is the cord, okay? There's nothing attached to it. This is the cord here. Okay, and this thing, now watch, the thing still turns on. Watch this. See that? Dude, I'm like freaking out. When I saw this, I was like, holy crap, this is creepy. Okay, and every time I touch it, the thing just turns on. All right? See, I'm like, okay, what's going on here? So, in front of you guys, I'm going to cut this cord and see what happens. All right, so let's hope nothing, let's hope we don't get a spark or anything like that. All right. Oh, I think it's pissed. Look, look guys, the cord is cut. Okay, look, I'm turning it around. Okay, the cord is cut, okay? All right, it's cut. There's nothing there. All right, but still. Dude, guys, I don't know what's wrong. Well, I don't know what's wrong with this, okay? So, let me open this up here without getting my, my fingers cut. All right, this is the inside. I had unscrewed it before and it didn't do anything. Now, let's see if I can just get these uh, wires cut here. All right, I, I think I killed it. All right, I think I killed it here. Let me, let me see here. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, there's, you have a motor, you have wires, you have, you know, just basic, basic stuff. You can just pull the stuff apart. I would definitely take this motor apart for the copper. And just in the center here, there is um, there's some pieces of metal. But I just what I would do is just scrap this, and then just scrap the rest of it at your scrapyard because there is some pieces, other pieces of metal that you don't want, you know, you don't really want, and you just want to just give it to your scrapyard. All right, so let me see because I noticed it doesn't do anything. Let me cut it this way. Let's see if I can cut these wires. Holy crap! The thing's still alive. It's pretty weird. Maybe I need like an exorcism or something. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on here, guys. This is freaking me the hell out. All right, I. It is pissed. All right. Guys, I, I'm like terrified to put my fingers in here. Okay, that's looks like that looks like it. I might have just killed it. All right, uh, I think I did. I think, guys, I think I got it. All right. So, anyway, we got some wiring. Got some nice wires here. Excuse my hand there. All right. We got a little bit of wire. Got a motor, which probably needs uh, some screws. Yep. See some screws to take out, but definitely you have, this is bright wire. If you can see that, that's bright wire there. So definitely, and this is the steel that I told you about. Definitely, I'm not even getting, getting put my hands close to this, but definitely just, you can either take it apart or scrap it as it is. This is pretty heavy here. This is probably maybe five pounds worth of, uh, worth of scrap there. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Send me a, uh, a comment, like the page. Check me out uh, on some other videos I got. I got a nice little playlist for you guys. Till then, peace.